No need to guess who it is. I saw the way she was looking at you. Oh. That fee. Fancies herself a bit of rough, does she? You know that's all you are to her, don't you? Something she can talk about with her posh mates in Shoreditch. Walking around like she's Jilly Flaming Cooper. It's not fair. Don't insult me, Mick. Like you've bent over backwards to try and accommodate her. I'm telling you, it's nothing to do with fee. Then who is it? Is it someone I know? Does it matter who it is? You've just ripped my heart in two, Mick. I think I've got a right to ask, don't you? Is she older? Younger? Please don't say Whitney. I'm sorry. Where are you going? What I should have done months ago. No, no, this isn't about Whitney, is it? This is about me and you, so let me explain. How come Lee never said nothing? What? That's why he left, isn't it? Their marriage was over months before anything happened. Oh, that's all right, then. I mean, the fact that she's still your daughter-in-law don't even come into it. It wasn't even a thing. It was just, like, one stupid kiss. There you go again. Backtracking. I mean, do you love her or not? I don't know what I feel. I just needed to do something about it before... Before what? Before it got out of hand. Oh, oh, so that's why you brought me back here. To stop you sniffing round her. I brought you back here because I missed you and you're my wife. Don't pretend like that means anything Of now. course it does. I love you, then I... If you loved me, you wouldn't have kissed another girl! Would you? Because that's what she is, Mick. A girl. A girl that you're supposed to be giving away at her wedding. <laughs> if that's not twisted, I don't know what is. Did you sleep with her? I told you it was just a kiss. I don't believe you. Well, it's the truth. And why should I believe a word that comes out of your mouth? But I mean, she's not exactly shy when it comes to putting it about, is she? I would never do that to you. I take it all this happened before she got together with Woody. That must have been a real slap in the face for you. I was happy for her. You were jealous. That's why you tried to knock seven bells out of him, isn't it? <sighs> Nearly eight months I've been away. And there wasn't a day I didn't wish I wasn't back here with you. And I was the same. You were the one person I never thought would hurt me, Mick. You weren't just my husband. You were my best friend. What we had, what we have. We can get back there. Elle, because I love you. And you and the kids are all that matters to me. If we mattered, you wouldn't have done this to us. 